Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator, founder, and CEO was one of the magical shapes in the Fairly Odd Parents mac and cheese. With Timmy, Cosmo, Wanda, and other magical shapes. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Comfort Cartoons, mail time! Camera flip. Oh, my mail's flying away! <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because today we have all of these beautiful packages here sent in by you beautiful people So we're gonna be opening up all this mail if you guys don't know how all this goes Usually these packages are filled up with all the different stuff that we love to show off here on this show Whether it be Nickelodeon Disney Cartoon Network anything nostalgic It's a complete mystery and again everything here is sent in by beautiful people just like you watching this show So make sure you guys show them some love in the comments down below because this series would be quite literally impossible without them. And if you guys ever want to send in some mail to be a part of this show, whether it ends up in the show or not, we check out every piece of mail that comes in from you guys. The address is on screen right here for the P.O. box. And it's a little advice when shipping the packages out, rather than taking the package directly to the post office, there are many different websites you can use like Shippo, Stamps.com to get reduced shipping when you mail it out. This is not a sponsor, but doing these fan mail videos for so long and seeing how much some people end up paying for the packages to ship them out going to the post office the prices could get really high and as somebody who's now pretty familiar with mailing stuff out using those other platforms to get discounted prices on shipping has helped me out immensely so I would love to help you guys out as well too okay so now that we are here Mitchell go ahead and pick whichever box Ooh. you want us to start with I'm gonna tell you which one I think they are gonna know which one I think you're gonna pick but you don't know which one I think you're gonna pick so go ahead and pick one and we'll see which one I thought you were gonna pick hmm pick. Yeah, I think this was a little a little obvious you think I was gonna pick this one I uh, maybe did think that originally but I thought oh he's gonna think that's pretty obvious I'm gonna and go with this one so we're gonna be going with this one down here in the bottom let's go for it so this one comes from Grace Lloyd an awesome member of the rep pack we've gotten some mail from Grace before so thank you so much Grace don't know what's in this but no matter what it is thank you so much for being a part of the community and for sending this in oh this looks so fun there's so many colors let's do a that's like some neon green in there. <laughs> whenever we go to the thrift store, like Brian's gonna blur it out. Like whenever I go to the thrift store, we go to the, anywhere to go hunting. This is the color I'm looking out for. Like if I see those those vibrant colors, I usually know that's the direction we should be headed. So this looks like a win for sure. No matter what we pull out of here, let's take a look. There's a note here in the top. Two part package. So I wonder if we open up the other oh, part oh, already. Oh, whoops. <laughs> like maybe we already opened up the other part. Who knows? But we're, we're gonna find out. Or maybe we haven't opened up the other part yet. We will find out nonetheless. Thank you so much. If we did, I am sorry. There's no other note in here. So I think we had to have opened up the other part already. So let's get started here. This is nostalgia at its finest, man. Is that a <laughs> Mighty Bean? <laughs> this is a giant Lightning McQueen Mighty Bean. But it's like a case holder for more Mighty Beans. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, there's more in there then. So inside of here. Oh. Oh man, it's always so weird holding Mighty Beans. Like, feel it? Like, you can't tell which side they're on. It sounds like they're like falling, but they're not. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's those Mighty Beans inside the Mighty Beans. These are so cool. These are classic. <laughs> so how they work is you can just flip them over. I think they did something like this. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'll never forget the commercials. Like, I can't remember the song, but it was like, Mighty Beans! Something, 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 we're jumping. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what he said in the commercials, but it was so fast. <laughs> and it was some kind of line that he said. And they had them in like these like tubes and like uh, slides that they went down. Those things were as extreme as all hell. We have an Abraham Lincoln one. There's Lightning McQueen himself. I didn't even really know they had licensed ones. We have like this bunny one here. There's even a freaking Boba Fett one. And doing this show is one of the things I love the most about doing this show is like, this is one of those things that would 
completely escape my memory eventually had we not opened them up here you know yeah. <laughs> and had you guys not seen them here as well you know we're just in that you know we're at the age where we can still unlock those memories so we don't forget them once you unlock it hey, you know you got another 10 20 years before you forget it again so now that you've unlocked mighty beans in your brain you cannot forget it but that's a complete set of, of, of mighty beans in this car setup though that is really cool next up this is I oh that is cool man this is Jesse from Toy Story here that is definitely gonna go to our Toy Story collection but I think this is from Disney on ice or this would be Pixar on ice and inside of there what do we have we have swiper we have <laughs> Hercules we have the cheese guy from the goof troop and uh, Dr. Eggman, quite a fun little variety there. And the Jesse sculpt is so cool, man. The color on this is just beautiful. And like, we didn't know how good we had it with those Disney on Ice cups, man. They have one of Bruce too from Finding Nemo. Ooh. That one is so freaking mean. And I think there's a Buzz Lightyear one too where his head is just like gigantic. I've never seen the Woody one, but I'm sure they have one. But the Jesse one is gonna make an awesome look. This literally looks like one of the old school like Woody Roundup toys almost. Beautiful. Hercules, you can guard our mighty beans. Okay, so we have Pete from the Goof Troop as well. Some SpongeBob green and white label uh, cards here. And it has a little fun did you know fact in the back there, Mitchell. I'm sick of you. I'm sick. <laughs> we have Marshall from Paw Patrol. We have another Jesse. We have the alien Jesse from the alien remix from Pixar. Oh, this is sweet. We have a SpongeBob Krabby Patty pencil box here, a pencil pouch, but it looks like a stack of a five by five Krusty Krab patty, man. <laughs> <laughs> Now that is freaking good. This might even give Bubble Bass a run for his money. <laughs> it's almost the size of the Mighty Bean box. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. You have to say it at least three times. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about nostalgia again. We have, oh, oh, dude. The Digimon X Tomagachi. I have one of these. Remember his name was, what was his name? Pa or P-A something? Or We had one on the channel. I can't even uh. remember his name right now, sadly. But... He died. And uh, this one, I don't want to die. But this is a green and orange one. So that is the coolest one. If we have to have any in the cavern to represent the Tomagachi Digimon era, it's got to be the green and orange one. So we also have some of the SpongeBob buildable figures here. We have Patrick. We also have Squiddy. Oh my goodness. That is Whoa. sweet. We have the Taste the Kelp Krabby Patties drink container from 2005. And it's got SpongeBob in the Krusty Krab boat right here, the register boat. And he's also got his spatula. That is so adorable. That is really cool. And I think this might have came with like a whole kit of different stuff, like a bowl and a plate too. That's already one of my favorite things. We have the SpongeBob one here as well. We have a huge bunch of Scooby-Doo stickers here. I love this one right here. It looks like Jack Nicholson Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> We have a Pluto to go with Pete here. We have, from the tree tower, we have Phil and Lil here. We have SpongeBob with his glasses here from a good to grow. We have an old school Rex here. I don't even know what this is from, but I love the quality on it nonetheless. It looks like his head would articulate, but it doesn't. So I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, it looks like maybe it could have been like an old school cake topper, you know? Something like that, yeah. But very adorable. We have a Paw Patrol bath bomb. I think you needed that. <laughs> it will remain sealed as a collectible. Very cool though. And then we have the neon green Scooby-Doo. And then finally here, Something I haven't seen before. This is a Rugrats pillow. It looks, it feels really soft too on top of that. So the Rugrats pillow, and it's like an actual pillow because there's no a zipper to like unzip it, you know? It's like a legitimately just designed that way Rugrats pillow from the old school days. Thank you so much, Grace, again for sending this in. A lot of fun in this package. Don't forget, stay tuned to the end. We gotta label some of these guys so we can throw them into the collection. But thank you so much for support, always, Grace. All right, so now I'll do the one that I knew you were gonna pick originally, but then change it because you knew that I thought that. This one is coming from Jaren C from San Antonio, Texas. So thank you so much, Jaren. Let's take a look what we got here. All right, so I already can see a canvas here or some other stuff going on here. So let's go ahead and remove all this wrapping paper. We have a note here, so let's take a look at that. At first. Oh, this is from J Dog. You know J Dog. Oh, okay, J Dog okay. is a member of, I believe he might be a member of our Patreon, but not just that, he's also a member of the Whatnot live stream. So we know J Dog very well. 
I said this in the last fan mail, um, but I really look up to the channel, but it's actually a deeper connection than that. I relate to you. I have ADHD and I also have high functioning autism. Everyone is always surprised when I tell them. Therefore, I have a lot of energy, really passionate about things that I love and I and catch my interest. Seeing you on YouTube with your high energy for pa and passion for anime cartoons, everything 90s to 2000s, all the way to the modern day, <laughs> makes me feel like I'm not alone. And absolutely, I am the same. Having ADHD can create fixations and this is definitely like a special interest for me that I fixate on like to a crazy degree and my entire life I've dealt with that where whatever I was interested in I couldn't just be into it a little bit I had to hyper fixate on it to the point to where it became like everything to me and this channel has given me a venue and an outlet to be able to do that and not just do that but do it with a group of people that support it and also understand it so thank you so much for saying that J-Dog it means the world to me and I'm so glad that this channel has been able to create a place not just for me to be able to outlet that but for you guys to find a place of familiarity, comfort, and also a place where we can all exist together on the things that we enjoy. So I absolutely relate to you so much on that as well. And thank you again for sending that letter. It means the world. Thank you again. And as always, guys, you don't have to send anything big. These little letters mean way more to me than you could even understand. So thank you. All right. So let's take a look here, though. We got some interesting stuff here. So on the top here, I'll go just grab these out. We have a Pokeball here, which I think that's a timer ball, if I were to guess. And it's a... Yeah. Dragon and Poison Pokedex. So it's an individual Pokedex here in a book of different Pokemon that are dragon or poison type. Or what seems like both <laughs> with Nido King. Nido King is poison normal, I think. You have the dragon type, the king of dragon types, basically, Rayquaza there. So really interesting, like Pokeball Pokedex thing. I've never seen this before, but I love it. So you have that for flying type as well. Oh, and a great ball. But I think even cooler than that one, the coolest of all of them, Ooh. you have the ghost, dark, and, and a steel. Luxury ball. <laughs> I know they got the luxury ball, baby. Ten thousand poke dollars. So you go in there, you got the the Shed Ninja right there, the only Pokemon with one HP. You have Banette and also Shuppet. <laughs> so really cool. I love these little Pokeball books. Probably didn't say Gengar. Oh yeah, it's true. I think those are like very, it seems like very third and fourth gen based like Pokemon. So I think that's why. Between those who have experienced the same pain, there can be no hate. So this is the Sand Village logo along with, I believe, a, the symbol on Gara's head that I believe means uh, hate or love, right? Love is on his forehead, yeah. Yeah, love on his forehead. I think that was one of those speeches though when he was like trying to get the, the alliance to come together. Yeah, that is really cool. And this is by Jaren himself. He made this, so thank you so much. You did an excellent job on it. And then inside here we have a Courage Ooh. the Cowardly Dog pin from Loot Pins. We we have uh, Gene right here in his classic burger costume. And we also, uh, that is a really cool Ooh, one. The, you had the Adventure Time one of them making like a loop, a little donut there, a, a Finn Jake donut. Oh man, do you remember this? <laughs> I don't think you did because you didn't see that coming. I think what it would do is you had like, it would come with a Pokemon, like for example, Charmander, and then the ball would be like your attack. So you would actually like have a Pokemon and then you had to use your attack and it would be kind of like that. And they came in little blisters. And this one has a Master Ball in there, look at that. Or a Waster Ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can open it up as well too. And I think you had a little, I can't remember everything that came in it. We'll have the blister on screen that this came with. I can't remember everything that was in it, but it's super nostalgic just seeing this one. It's similar to the Burger King toys that they had with the actual little like cartridges that changed the images out. But this was separate, like its own separate product with a Game Boy Color here, the Lime Green Edition. And there's a bunch of little Pokemon figures in here. We have Poliwhirl right there. We have a big jumbo Snorlax, really sick Dialga figure there. And not as dope as Dialga, but also really dope Palkia. <laughs> <laughs> we have Turtwig right here. We have Kimimaro right here with an awesome figure as well. Like, where did you get all of these just really cool figurines? We have Squirtle there. We have Bulbasaur. We have Chimchar, little shady Chimchar. I would not trust that Chimchar. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a Speedy Gonzalez Pez and also a Pluto Pez. What are the odds of all of the characters in the universe? We have two Pluto things back to back. That is weird. If there's more Plutos than those, that'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, that is a really cool set of figures here. And I'm definitely gonna be putting the Dialga and Palkia on display in the Pokemon section of the uh, variety room. That is really sweet. All right, so inside of here, we have oh. some kind of ring. It's, it's J-Dog doing some kind of proposition. Oh, that's so cool. It's a 3D printed Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. <laughs> that is sweet. It smells good too. 
<laughs> All right, and then we have the Cartoon Network Platinum Collection here for Game Boy Video. And then we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist book here, the manga. Man, I've never seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga before. There's so much going on on a single page. What in earth? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it looks sick. And then let's take a look here. We have The Legend of Korra on DVD here. Huge variety of different stuff here. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Earth Book. We have The Sinnoh Handbook. We have The Cold Battle Battle. We have a, oh, dude, this Yu-Gi-Oh binder is so cool. That is nostalgic as all hell, man. I love that with the Dark Magician in the background. Ooh. And then inside there, we have some DBZ cards. Oh, dude, I, oh, that Beerus is so clean. The Sun Goku over there. These are cool, man. Dragon Ball cards. I haven't collected any Dragon Ball cards, really. All the ones that I have of my collection have come from you beautiful people. But man, is the artwork on Dragon Ball just incredible. But this binder is just sick, man. Do you remember these as a kid? These, like, little mini binders? Yeah, I do. I, I think this is, like, where we all had our first card collections was in one of these, you know? And then we're like, well, this isn't holding enough. <laughs> yeah, then you end up getting a bigger one. I love that Yu-Gi-Oh binder. That is so cool. But anyway, we have Sinnoh World here. We have Pokemon in Disguise. How do don't think we have this one the Rugrats Pizza Cat and also SpongeBob UFO Ooh. Pokemon in Love okay. Catch That Wobbuffet the Teen Titans comic book Crypto the Super Dog as seen on Cartoon Network SpongeBob Bring on the Funny a collection of SpongeBob joke books Battle Frontier Deoxys in Danger Yu Gi Oh! Duelist Naruto Clash of the Ninja in the Land of Snow, which is a uh, movie, and then also a Digimon Adventures. It's like a book that actually has like the audio for the character. Look at the buttons don't work, but that is all good. That is really cool. That was a super nostalgic box. If any of you guys had any of these things throughout your childhood, let me know. There's also a Patrick Hot Wheel in here too. Man, that was crazy. I mean, the Pokemon stuff, I mean, I was into Pokemon throughout all of it, so I pretty much like all of this, I had some variation of this as a child, you know? But I don't think we've ever seen that many Pokemon books in one place. I can't wait to check out all of these. Thank you so much again, j Dog. That was a blast to go through, and it's such a look into the past. A, a true, a true nostalgic time machine going through that. Next up here, we have a little uh, blister here. This one comes from Super Nez from MI, which I think is Michigan. So let's go ahead and take a look here. It has a note, so let's take a look at that first. Your videos open my mind up to new methods of collecting. I myself am a collector of Pokemon and Batman. I had the Chalk Zone item for years, and the rest of the other stuff I found at the thrift shop. I thought, hey, Comfort Cartoons would probably like this. Well, thank you so much, and I appreciate that. Super Nez. So let's take a look at what we got inside of here. So let's take a look at the first one. One here looks like a hey Arnold item yes we have Helga Pataki right here inside of the bag <laughs> still so we have this one in the collection right here in the background but you know we are an archiving channel so whatever we don't put on display this will be going in the vault because we do not have this one sealed so I will take that and absolutely make sure that it stays sealed that is beautiful and then what do we have here this is oh man that is awesome so it's Rudy right here drawing the chalk zone portal with what i believe her name is trudy i'm trying to remember off the top of my head but trudy here when he draws the portal and once the portal gets drawn of course not too long after that they're gonna end up in chalk zone with snap there but i think i can actually press it there you go and it actually roulettes it that is so cool man <laughs> okay thank you so much that is amazing all right guess roulette mitchell is it gonna land on chalk zone are you going to chalk zone or are you gonna be stuck halfway through the portal uh, I'm gonna land in Chalk Zone. Nope. Oops. Halfway through the portal. <laughs> it was on Chalk Zone. <laughs> and I think this might be from Wendy's, if I were to guess. So, really cool little blister there, and thank you again, too, to Super Nez. This one came from Haley Gilbert, and it says, open on camera. So, let's take a look here. Okay, so looks like we have some Pokemon, like a Pokemon pack of cards here from McDonald's, I believe. And it's got some birthday cards in here, too. It says, it's your big day. Wherever your birthday takes you, hope it's an adventure filled with good times, good friends, and unforgettable fun. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted another good. And for the pack here, I don't even know... What's the plot, like the possible cars you can get in this? But we have Ooh. a holographic Fuikoko. We have a Krillia. We have Pawnee. 
and also the Sandaconda. So it looks like that's our rare right there, is the Holographic Foycoco. And then a sticker right here too of the Match Battle, a Pokeball, the Pokemon logo, and then the new Pokemon, which I cannot remember this guy's name off the top of my head right now, but I know it's in the Ice Territory in the Paldea region. All right, Mitchell grabbed this one down. This one comes from Black Eagle 1903. Sick name. That is, <laughs> that is a dope name. Enjoy the Snelly. So this is from the same person, Emily C, who sent in the Magnetic Selly that we got in the collection. And she sent a hardcover book version Whoa. of the book Slime. So this is a behind the scenes story of the network that has shaped a generation. So I've actually listened to this entire audio book before, you know, <laughs> if it doesn't have a lot of pictures, sometimes it can be hard for me to get through them. So audio books help. A lot. <laughs> so I've heard the whole audiobook of this book. So I'm just going to keep this guy sealed for the collection. This is really cool. A complete oral history of Nickelodeon's golden age. And yeah, if you guys haven't read the book Slimed, I recommend you guys check it out. And it's definitely just a good, like, if you're, you know, somebody who's more of a 2000s Nick kid and you kind of miss a lot of the stuff before the yellow era, which is SpongeBob's era, this book kind of summarizes all of that stuff and gives you the best uh, historic summary of what happened during the time you missed. So I recommend the book for sure and thank you so much i will cherish i never had the hard copy of this book thank you again and shout out to you emily c this next one is coming from zach am from new york so let's take a look here and see what zach sent in all right so getting into this one here all wrapped up in different packages like this hey, so we can get all this out of here mystery bag Ooh, is that a plug and play it's a plug and play that i didn't even know was a thing this is a bob the builder plug and play <laughs> <laughs> We just got the Dora one in. I didn't even know Bob the Builder had a plug and play. It only makes sense. That is so sick. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. There was a note in there though. Let's read that first. That, that already blew my mind. So Zach's 23 and he said, I've been watching you for a while now. You are one of my favorite YouTubers. I grew up in the early 2000s, so I'm super nostalgic for old school SpongeBob and Nickelodeon. So after the first video, I was hooked. I've included a few DVDs I have found while thrifting, as well as some other things I found while thrifting or had laying around. Hope you enjoy. Well, thank you so much. And I love your drawing of Squidward doing the thing exclusively by Zach. <laughs> When we're doing the thing, you got SpongeBob doing the season one point, and then you got Patrick doing the season one stand. But I don't think anything will top Squidward doing the thing as Zach's official artwork. <laughs> I love it. You know, on this channel, we stay doing it. Okay, oh. this is cool. So, oh, dude, you know what these are? These are Nick Magazine trading cards. So we have one for Aaliyah here. We have Tara Lipinski and also the Spice Girls. These are our trading cards you got from the old school Nick Magazine. So, <laughs> that is really cool. We have the Snap and Switch like build a figures they released right here, all contained in one bag. We have Who Bob What Pants. Oh my goodness. Rugrats Tells from the Crib in an insane holographic cover. Oh my goodness. And it also has a special feature of the pilot episode of Rugrats Preschool Days, which is a show that was made as a spinoff in 2005, but never got released. So having an official coverage of that pilot episode is incredible. That is so cool. I cannot believe I don't have this in the collection and I do not have that cover for sure. That's an incredible piece of media. So thank you so much. We have Fairly Odd Parents Channel Chaser here, an amazing episode special. We have Atlantis Square Pantis. We have the Sponge Guard on Duty, which these do have their inserts too. So we'll have to check these out and compare them to our other copies to see if they're like, you know, missing something that we don't have. We have Sponge for Hire. <laughs> it's Santa it just they had a special of Sponge for Hire and then a Sponge, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. He's been full circle. We have Lost at Sea, Tide and Seek, and the ever elusive Karate Island here. Wow. And the Karate Island has the insert, which I know we don't have the insert, at least this one for sure. This one has a Karate Island 20% uh, off savings card, which I know we don't have in ours. So that is really, really sick. Thank you again so much, Zach. Okay, now this one comes from another long Long time fan mail member here of the Rep Pack. Thank you so much. This is from Jason Noons, who is also on our Patreon. So thank you so much for supporting the Patreon, Jason. Let's take a look and see what we have here from you. Ooh, it's a big box already, I can tell. So let's take a look here. It's already layered up here. I love the little cardboard here to protect from any kind of a cut through. 
So we have the box right there. Because we all know how you open boxes sometimes. True, sometimes it can be a little dangerous. So we have a note here as well. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is fun, dude. He sent us some, you know at the thrift store how we pick up the variety bags? Yeah. So he left the prices on there so we can decide whether it's worth it or not. Ooh. Same way we would do in our thrifting videos. That is so cool. So if it was worth it or not, the cup isn't uh, usable, but it would be make for a good display. This box is three of three that I sent. So maybe we already opened up some or haven't opened them all yet, but we'll let you know, or maybe you've seen some of them already. But let's take a look here. We'll let you know if they're worth it or not worth it. But I can already say no matter what it is, it is worth it. But we'll go based off of our technical standards when we do our videos just for you, Jason. Oh man, he said there's a variety of stuff that he all found thrifting too so I'm interested to get into this this, this is already wild we have a sealed copy wow. of Tom and Jerry the magic ring that is a good movie I haven't seen this one before actually so that is really cool though when it was two dollars in the thrift I'm gonna say worth it uh, you compared to ours yeah man you get a sealed copy at our it'd be about $3.99 <laughs> yeah. if you're lucky two dollars man that's, a, that's definitely worth it next up here we have a bag so this one is eight of them new wrapper toys Four dollars. So let's take a look here. What do we have? We have a disc right here from, it's a flying disc of a raven from Teen Titans. Go. We have Dash here from the Incredibles 2 movie. We have Mario from the Mario, Mario. The Mario. <laughs> <laughs> we have Robin's bow staff. That is really cool, absolutely. Okay, you got two. We have two of Robin's bow staff and two of Raven's flying disc here. We have Kid Fun, which I don't know what these are. Are they like toothpicks? Or what are they? I'm not really sure. Oh, pickup sticks. What is pickup sticks? You never played pickup sticks? I've never played pickup sticks. I've gone to the restaurant where they have inconsistently good Chinese food, <laughs> but I've never played uh, pickup sticks before. If you guys have ever played pickup sticks, let me know. I feel like you've never played pickup sticks. You're just acting like you play pickup sticks. No, I have. But I don't remember the game rules. Well, you just throw them on the ground, like, oh, whoever picks up the most and the least amount of time wins. If it's just cleaning up a stack of sticks, I did that my whole childhood. <laughs> we have a Choco Cat watch here. I would say, dude, man, your guys' prices are so much better than ours. That was worth it. <laughs> Eight figures for $4? That's 50 cents each? That's worth it. I don't even know what the hell this is, but it's worth it. Oh, dude. Whoa. What the heck? 50 cents. The Buzz Lightyear coasters. Uh, at Walmart. And another bag of here. Of, we're gonna go through that for sure. But this is the TMNT movie bucket. That is sick. So if you went to the movie theater when it first came out, you got this whole bucket filled up with popcorn. I did not get one of these buckets because they did not have them available when I went to go see the movie. They were like a lot of stuff was sold out already. This is so cool. So thank you so much. I wanted one of these in the collection. That is awesome. So it says only in theaters, Mutant Mayhem. It has Donatello right there. Raft, then it has some of the more promotion for the movie with the Nickelodeon logo there, then Leo and Michelangelo on this side, and then another like premium spot there with the movie branding on it. So a really a real cool like six-sided container there. That is awesome. And inside of there was this bag, man. I already know this is worth it. This whole bag was three dollars. Three dollars? Three dollars inside of here. I mean, granted, it is a lot of mixed up stuff, but I mean that's three dollars for this much substance. You have this mini mouse figure. I'm I'm gonna try my best to name every character within this. I think this is from Dumbo, maybe? I don't even know what that's from. Secret Life of Pets. We have, I wanna say Petunia from, from the Tiny Toons. The, the bomb bird. We have Tarzan with a little ape with his mom. Jiminy Cricket, Boo, some kind of little backpack thing, a Lego minifig, a Louis Vuitton, or some, I don't know, some kind of keychain thing. I'm pretty sure this is Ryan's Toy Review Panda Man. Is this a Danimals Gorilla? If this is a Danimals Gorilla, I'm gonna lose it, but I think that might be the Gorilla from Danimals. That would be funny. That would be amazing. That's going to my kitchen if that's a Danimals Gorilla. A Sleeping Beauty, this. Fuck. A general plastic rock. Chase there. Sully. Sullivan. Woody from Toy Story. Princess Jasmine. A troll. <laughs> There's so much in here. Some Buzz Aldrin. I was gonna say, it was like <laughs> on the moon. <laughs> Pongo and one of the uh, Dalmatians. Uh, Toy Story bag clip here, or bag figure. Some and then a, a Superstar Ultra Bandai Yomega Yo Yo. We all know how this goes. Yeah, I ain't very good at that, but you know what? I did it. And then another naked baby. Naked oh. baby's band. <laughs> that's so much stuff for $3. I feel like for $3, there's so much there that that's worth it. This is the Danimal Gorilla. I'm saying it's worth it. So this is a Rainforest Cafe monkey. I, I don't know, like, 
I would say three dollars is worth it because the roulette is fun. You know, yeah. <laughs> it, it's very much like a lot of randomness, but that randomness could be anything. You know, so I'd say for three dollars, it's worth it for the fun. You know, that bag would have been like ten bucks. Oh, at ours, hell yeah. Next up we have, now that's Shrek. what I call Shrek. Yeah. Now that's what I call Shrek. On CD, are you kidding me? That's amazing. Now that's what I call <laughs> Shrek, the disc. That is awesome. You got all awesome. This is the soundtrack for the Shrek movies. But just having a disc that's called, now that's what I call Shrek, has made my whole year. That is amazing. Eddie Murphy and Antonio Banderas perform Living La Vida Loca. Can't go around with Puss in Boots and some donkeys singing. <laughs> so this is the best song from the first movie all the way to the second movie, the best songs of them. That, now that's what I call amazing. And then we have Toy Story here with oh. the leapfrog in there, leapfrog cartridge. Another Toy Story uh, Go Mobile game here. The V Smile Motion with Dora, Candy Manny, and also Tinkerbell for $1.50. That is that is worth it, for sure. All of that, yeah. $1.50 each on those. Heck, all day worth it, worth it, worth it. That was only a dollar. Even more worth it. And now that's what I call Shrek. I don't even know how much you paid for that, but anything under 100, that's worth it. Oh, that's so cool. We have a Russian nesting dolls, Disney 100 with Buzz Lightyear there, Stitch, Moana, and also a Minnie Mouse. That is, that is, Russian nesting dolls have been really in recently, huh? Like I feel like we never saw them ever. And now like this last two years, we just have been popping up a lot and I like it. It's like four collectibles with a space of one. And also a TMNT cup to go with that TMNT bucket. And for the bags here, let's do it. So this one was four, okay, now that's more our prices. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> look where it's from. Yeah, 4 dollars from Savers. That's very on brand here, Savers. So let's see what we got here. We have one of the toys from the Toy Story uh, RV. We have a PJ and mask minus the popsicle. We have a ham from Toy Story there. That's a pretty cool one. We have a Lion King piece from the Lion King movie. Oscar here from Sesame Street and another piece of the RV. Uh, I'm gonna go with probably not worth it. I think the best thing in here is probably the ham, you know? Yeah. I would say probably overall not worth it, but I still appreciate it nonetheless and appreciate you so much for even sending it. But uh, we're trying to play the most accurate worth it worth it as if we are playing it ourselves for you here. I think I think they were a little high on this one. Next up here, what do we got? This one was 449 as well. And in this one we have what in the world is this? What is this? Is this HR Puffin stuff? I don't know. I feel like this is HR Puffin stuff, but it has Kermit on the back there. I don't really know what this is, but it's old for sure. We have one of the old school McDonald's nuggets here from <laughs> Halloween. We have a Venom car. Well, that Venom car is pretty cool. <laughs> I've always thought it was interesting how like these characters that can literally swing from webs for some reason need vehicles. <laughs> Another one of these like weird Muppet figures a Mike Wazowski and a Chibi Bot from McDonald's. What does he do? <laughs> that was pretty eventful. I don't know. These guys are pretty old. They're supposed to be like Jim Henson, like basically uh, Mr. Potato Heads, where you have little pieces you can put here and also here on top, and then inside carries those pieces. I don't know, man. I'd say I'd say worth it on that one. It's, like it's not a draw, it. yeah. It's like a draw, a draw. I'd say a draw perfectly for this one. You know, when you go to Savers, it's tough to just we deal with the do. It's tough to get that worth it. Okay, now this one at ours, if they had anything Powerpuff Girls in there, you're looking at like seven. $7.99, yep. $3.49, I'm already calling it worth it. Because you have these guys are so freaking cute. Uh, I think these are party favors, maybe? They're like little rings, it looks like. Yeah, so it's a ring with Blossom on the ring, and it actually has her little uh, streak when she's That's flying. That's cool. That is adorable. That already, to me, is worth it. You have two of them in there. And then you also have a Buttercup one right here, too, where her face actually swaps. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And another little note is she actually has this little barrette in her hair, this little green skull. That's another way to separate her from the uh, the, the vintage one. So very cool there. And you also have Spider-Man here along with Miles Morales and a, a, a troll doll. So besides the troll doll, I'd say it was all worth it. And this one doesn't have the price, but this is from the Lost in Time episode. We have Canadian SpongeBob, <laughs> AKA Mountaineer SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then next up we have a SpongeBob Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. We have some Pokemon plates. We have Merry Christmas with Nick Jr. We have Hansel and Gretel from PBS. A giant Winnie the Pooh coloring book. And then one more thing inside of here. 
Oh, we have side burners. Nickelodeon side burners here, man. Oh, if we have a duplicate of this, we might be able to open it up and get a card. I'm thinking, do we save the extras for a separate video and just opening these up? Because the cards are right there. Very, very grabbable. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. The side you found that thrifting. That's crazy. That is amazing. Let me go see if we have another one. Okay, so we do have another one of these side burners. So I think what we'll do is for now, we will keep this in the vault. And whenever we get enough extras, like duplicates, maybe at least 10, at least 10 duplicates, we will open them up and try to hunt for the collectible Nick Greek cards. I would love, one of my dream collections would be to complete that entire set of the Greek cards. If you guys don't know, you can plug all of the Greek cards inside of this and you can actually get a little audio bite that goes with it. And the Danny Phantom cards from this have early, like first ever Danny Phantom artwork before the show had even launched. Makes me want to open them now. Yeah. I kind of want to open it now. Okay, who would it hurt to maybe just open up one? It's just one, okay? It's just one. It's just one. So here we go, oh, let's man. open it up. Okay, I opened it up in such a way to where it still contains everything, but we have one precious, Nick Expressions card. If we're gonna do this, we better get the binder. So here it is, the Nick Expressions collectible card game. One of the rarest collectible card games in Nickelodeon, in my opinion, that it's actually like just next level cool. They come with these holographic cards and you can put them inside of this e-reader that we got here thanks to Faith H here in 2023. Put that in there. Dude, are you kidding? <laughs> and he actually has audio from the characters, a little quote from them. So we have a total of, what is that? Four, seven. Seven of the possible 24. There is a lot we still need to get. Would be a dream to complete this set, but you only get one per an expressions product. And because of those cards, and I think because of this channel partially, these individual products now go from like 50 to 20 bucks. So it would not be cheap to buy them because I mean, even if you got like 20 of them, there's a chance that a lot of them could be duplicates and your duplicate would be like 20 to $30 each duplicate. So that's what makes it a little tough. So what we do is whenever we get them in here in the channel, whether it be through fan mail, we find them out in the wild. If we have a double, thanks to Faith H, we actually have a lot of them checked off. So if we ever find those or end up with them, we open them up as a double. So let's see here. Did we get something new? Yeah! We got SpongeBob! So this is the original Sponge. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sad face. I got happy for a moment. I was covering him. So I just looked down and I was like, oh, wait, we don't have that one. Oh. It's okay. There's the checklist, though. There is the checklist that we already know about. There's 26. Look at that, Danny. He's just so weird. Early shot of Danny Phantom there. So there it is, right? There's 30 cards, even harder. I thought it was 24. They're, they even made it even harder. <laughs> <laughs> so the SpongeBob card is a duplicate, but you know what, man? Out if, of all uh, of them to get dupes of. Yeah, of all of them to get a duplicate of. Let's, play let's, yeah, we'll play them. A little fresh one. Ah, what a beautiful day. It could have been more beautiful <laughs> had you been new, but still, nonetheless, an awesome one. So we'll put those two together and we have a duplicate of SpongeBob. You never know, maybe maybe uh, I could trade that one one day or something. <laughs> so keeping it moving here. Of all 30, we could have gotten a fresh one, but of course we got the duplicate. So that's what I'm saying. If, if we would have had to like buy like, you know, 10 of these, it would have cost probably like $200. And what if they were all SpongeBob, you know? Uh, so it's better just to kind of take that risk as it comes by, you know? Yeah. That, so that we're not spending a huge lump sum. Exactly. So I mean, nonetheless, we do have the SpongeBob card there. And if I ever see any of these loose out in the wild, I'm of course gonna try to pick them up and you know leave them there for me. Give me a chance. I really want this. <laughs> <laughs> Many people may have not even known about these had I mentioned them. So let me complete it first, please, just for the archive. <laughs> All right, so the Nick Expressions binder will close for today. But on that note, that was everything from this video. I had an amazing time, and it was even more cool being able to hang out with you beautiful people. So make sure you guys show some love down below to all these people that sent some stuff in in the mail today. And if you guys want to send anything, again, the address is right here on screen for you guys. And again, you can always just take it to the post office and send it that way. But feel free to look out some of those third-party options to send mail in because it can be a lot more affordable just to save you guys a couple bucks. But if you don't mind, you can also just take it to the post office too. So thank you guys so much. Stick around to the end. We got to label this stuff, add some of it to the collection. But before that, you know the drill. Scan it!
Okay, Dialga and Palkia are right here on my 3DS. I don't play it as often as I used to because of my Switch, but until I need to play it again, Dialga and Palkia will be protecting it. And the Hoenn Trio is also here to back them up. Green Label bottle down here with the rest of our Green Label products, even though it doesn't have the tag on there. For right now, since we have the space, I think it looks great. Art piece here, I think it's really cool, so I'm gonna put it over here in the anime room as our pops start to stack up. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new here so you guys do not miss the next video coming up on this channel. We have some amazing videos coming up. I wouldn't want you to miss out on, so make sure you have notifications on, all that great stuff. Is there still a bell? Like, if there's a bell, turn that on. I, turn on the bell notifications. If you guys want to support the show further, go check out the Patreon. We're going to get an extended version of this video and every other video that I upload on YouTube. And it helps out immensely with everything we do. It only costs $2 a month. All the videos are ad-free. It's the ultimate way to watch comfort cartoons. And if you want to see us live, go check out the Whatnot show that we do every single Friday. And when you sign up, you get $15 for absolutely free. Come hang out with us. It's a blast every week. That link will be in the description as well. But I'll see you guys in this video over here that I know you're going to love. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Adios and bloop.